furniture for the house, our bedroom set. When the payments start coming due, there's not going to be anybody around to collect. People who are not preparing and that want to come and take the supplies, we refer to as zombies. This is the punching bag we got for the kids. Give me your stuff. I want her to learn how to protect herself, you know, to fight off any zombies that might attack her. I'm actually looking forward to showing another family what they need to do to survive, so that way our children are not the only children out there. But Dawn's about to abandon her survival enthusiast family and isolated life preparing for the end of the world as we know it to swap lives with a woman she's never met over 1,600 miles away. We're the Stewarts, and we, we will survive. survive. Raylene and Harry Cathray devote every minute of their lives to the future of their kids and ensuring that it will be bright and successful. We believe that our time and energy spent on our kids will make them succeed more in the future. My oldest daughter is Casey. She's 13. Harry and I believe that Casey can be the number one golfer in the world. She's been the youngest medalist of California Women's Amateur. She's been the youngest semifinalist two years in a row. She's been ranked inside the top 100 as a 12 and 13 year old. Determined optimist Raylene and Harry put every cent they earn towards fulfilling Casey's dream of being the world's number one golfer. We've provided her with an expert in biomechanics. We've provided her with an expert in physical training. We've got a sports psychologist who helps her with how she thinks and how she should be thinking. Describe how it felt to hit the ball. This is a hitting studio for us inside to analyze her swing and, and have her practice in a very precise way. This is not a joke. This is helping her set a future up for herself. Just to think of what she can do if she puts her heart into it. Makes me cry. My youngest son is Corey, and he's 11. Corey's passion is more academics than sports. I hate golf. I think Corey does get overshadowed a little bit with Casey. Casey is our athlete. Corey is very brain smart. Not that he's not an athlete. He just is a different type of athlete. Raylene and Harry believe the best strategy to help their kids achieve success is to divide and conquer. But that means the family is rarely all together. I look after most of Casey's sporting activities, and Raylene looks after most of Corey's. Corey and I will eat first, because Harry and Casey are always out at the golf course. And then when they get home, they will go ahead and eat. I do nothing relative to Corey. I, how you doing, Corey? Fine. That's about as much as we talk. Pay attention for a minute. I am. I'm serious. I don't have time to mess around. Let's go. Harry is very vocal. Come back and look, please. I am. No, you're not. Come back yeah. and look. No, you're not. Raylene and I both work very hard to, to, to pour... To pour money into what our kids are doing. I have six different jobs that I go to during the week. All the money that I make goes to help support the children. As well as